Ghibli movies are really inspirational and beautiful. The story, the background... So today I will be drawing some characters, but with a little twist. You have to guess who is that character. Fun game, I know. The only rule is to guess the person. Simple, right? I'll also tell you some information about the movie while I draw because I need to work on my conversation skills. Yeah. Let's begin. So this movie is basically surrounded by the message of don't let her kids. I'm not kidding, that's what Mr. Google says. This was my first Ghibli movie I watched and it's in my top three, honestly. So basically the plot is that a goldfish princess encounters a human boy, maybe you just guessed it right now. Uh, the fish wants to be a human and uh, as her friendship with the boy grows, she becomes more human-like. Um, but her father brings her back to the ocean kingdom, but uh, she really wants to live on the surface that she breaks free and in the process spills a collection of magical elixirs that endanger the boy's village. It's really weird when I say it like that, huh? But that doesn't matter. This movie was released in 2008 and I don't see a lot of people talking about it and I don't get why because it's so beautiful. Unlike the drawing that I did, it's kind of bad, but it, it works, it works. The final answer is, drumroll please, Ponyo, um, and the character is Ponyo's mom, a beautiful lady, so beautiful. The next movie is basically a love story. The plot is a young woman is cursed by a witch, turns into an old woman and is unable to tell anyone of her plight. Unable to continue her job, she goes to the castle of the notorious wizard and insinuates herself into his household. She befriends a fire demon who powers the castle and who is bound to the wizard by a contract, the terms of which the demon cannot reveal. God damn it. They promise to help each other with their problems, like the fire demon. The wizard can also see through the witch's spell, and the two of them fall in love. The girl and, and the wizard, not the fire demon. The girl helps the wizard confront his former teacher and the witch. It's a very popular movie, a little overrated in my opinion, but it's still good. The book still as good, though many changes are made. The final answer, da -da -da -da, house moving castle, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> the character being Sophie's sister, even though she's a side character, I really wanted to draw her. And she's really beautiful and fun to draw. <laughs> I recommend it. Number three. A young girl is sent to the country for health reasons where she meets an unlikely friend in the form of a young girl, with flowing blonde hair. As their friendship unravels, Blondie has closer ties to the protagonist than we might expect. Short summary, I know, but I couldn't find anything longer. I could have made one myself, but oh well. The movie was a bit confusing at first, but then it reached the ending and everything made sense at last. 
I like this movie because the main character looked like me when I watched this movie. <laughs> Anyways, it's absolutely beautiful and the storyline is kind of sad but intriguing. Final answer, when Marnie was there. And the character, of course, Marnie, Blondie. <laughs> And last but not least, the last movie that we're gonna do today. A 10 year old girl and her parents stumble upon a seemingly abandoned amusement park. After her mother and father are turned into giant pigs, the young girl meets a mysterious boy who explains that the park is a resort for supernatural beings who need a break from their time spent in the earthly realm and that she must work at the bathhouse to free herself and her parents. The story has a beautiful imagery and creatures that really emphasize the Japanese culture from what I know. Her feelings are really strong that she made me feel lonely with her. I cannot imagine being alone and having to work in a mysterious world. No family, no friends. How? I don't understand how she made it. Thankfully she had some friends but okay we're getting in too deep. The final answer is Spirited Away, the character being Lean, Jihiro's friend and the one who helps her at the bathhouse. Did you guess them all right? It's okay if you didn't, don't worry. Tell me in the comments below which is your favorite movie and why, I'd really like to know. Thanks so much for watching and maybe I'll do another one of these videos. but. Maybe not with the whole guess this movie or character. Let me know in the comments below if you want more. Anyway, so see you later. Okay, bye.